his attitude of playing in the other fellow's backyard helps even up the ball game. Third down, eight. Florida at the 36-yard line. James Jones and Doug Kellum are the running backs. And Peace will get racked up back at the 40-yard line. Tim Crow was the man who buried him back there, which means if they wanted to go with Clark at this point, it would have to be a 57-yard field goal attempt, and they're not going to chance that. They're going to send in the punter and then turn it over to the defense. Actually, Peace had tried a bootleg. He was going to fake to the tailback and then have a naked bootleg to the outside, but Crow was not fooled and threw him for the loss. Dicker to punt. Werner's going to let it fly, and it goes out of bounds at the eight-yard line. So a beauty with a minute 35 remaining in the game. 135 left. Vince Dooley has to see his team. Of course, they don't have to go. You can see that frustration that now permeates not only Baloo, but all of the Georgia team, certainly the partisans. Al, you're exactly right. As we look at Vince Dooley, we know what he, I, I know personally what he's going through, but the Florida team reestablished their momentum on that great play by Tyrone Young. Up until then, Georgia had everything going for their, in their way. Baloo, third down, forced out of the pocket again, throwing, has a man open. 25, 30, Scott, to the 49-yard line, to the 50, Lindsey Scott, to the 30, to the 20, can you believe that? Just in total disbelief, a Georgia touchdown may have taken it away from him. Wayne Peace is 20 out of 36 for 286 yards today. First down from the 36-yard line. Over the middle, and intercepted at the 45-yard line by Mike Fisher, and he gets to the 36, and that should wrap it up.